Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, go ahead and subscribe and activate those notifications by clicking on the bell icon below. Below, you know the drill. I'm a huge fan of the American artist, Jacob Lawrence is one of my favorite American artists. And if you haven't seen my other videos on him, go ahead and check those out. I'm obsessed with them. And I'm always looking online for inspiration and things like that. So I came across this image that you're seeing right here. So this is actually a, a silk screen that Jacob Lawrence created and there's only 15 of them. And I was very captivated by the composition, the colors, and I just think it's an overall very beautiful image. And I'm very much obsessed with like this military type of style of jackets and I think that's why I was drawn to this image. I love the uh, turquoise color, the whole feather thing, like I'm all about that. But before we get more into this image, a short bio about Jacob Lawrence. He was born in Atlantic City on September 7th, 1917. He died on June 9th, the year 2000. From 1937 to 1938, he created 41 tempera paintings based on the life of the 18th century Haitian revolutionary general Toussaint L'Ouverture. Sorry if I butchered that, but I'm not very good with French. So then in 1986 to 1997, he created silk screens based on those 41 paintings. Back to Toussaint's silk screen that I think is completely gorgeous and I love and I'm so excited we're gonna redo it. But we're not gonna create a silk screen print. We're gonna actually draw it and I'm gonna use acrylic. So I've pulled out my good paper. Only this is watercolor paper and I'm gonna use acrylic but I don't have acrylic paper this big anyway but it's, it's gonna work i hope it's gonna work so when i draw things i usually like trace in sharpie and show you the steps with sharpie but that leaves a black line that i do not want to have so i don't know if this is going to be an easy tutorial to follow or is this just me more or less showing you my process because i want to keep the white that's in the original i want it to be the white of the paper i don't want to have to add white paint so let's see if that's possible. So since I'm not using black to draw, I have to use the color that was used in the printing process, if that makes sense. Bear with me, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So we have brown for the face, so I'm gonna draw the face. And I guess I'll start with the eyebrow. Actually, that's not the eyebrow, that's a sideburn. I've already kind of drawn it on here. These are Prisma colors. These are actually good markers. I recommend. So that's like a seven. The nose, the lip. And what I like about this, there's like a two-tone color usage. He did like light brown and then darker brown. And I like that too, so I'm gonna try to do the same thing. So this will be light brown and dark brown. No, this is white, but the background here is green. So hopefully this green, I can cover up with the acrylic painting. This is like the ruffle in his shirt. And then all of this will be green. All that. So there is this hat. I don't know anything about this guy. I guess I should should have done some research. I just know he dresses really sharp. And that's something I feel like back then everybody will dress sharp even like regular common people dress so much better than what people dress now I feel like as a society we're just lazy in the way we dress we care about more about comfort functionality than looking decent or presentable and that's really a shame like I've seen um, the movie what's it called Dorian Gray. I don't know if that's the movie title, but it's about 
the picture of Dorian Gray. And I re remember watching that movie and thinking, wow, I would have loved to live in that era because I love the way people dressed in it. There was such elegance with everyone. It didn't matter like your socioeconomic level, like everybody looked sh nice. But it, it probably wasn't as hot back then as it, as it is now. I feel like I messed this up. Man, I didn't want to mess up. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do now. Because I'm going to come in with that turquoise and color all this in. Once I do that, then I'll see where I take it next. I'm kind of just being very experimental now because, like I said, I want to, I don't want to use black. And I always use black. So I have the color. It's not the same shade, but close enough. And I like this color. And I guess that's all that matters. Isn't that pretty? I guess it's more green than turquoise. But I like it. I love it, actually. I'm going to paint all of this that color. And then I'll be back. So now I need to go in with a smaller brush to get close to the edge. You know, and I got to make this my own. So I added that little detail on the left bottom corner where I'm dripping the color. So I am going to incorporate my own style to this. But I'm going to try to stay true to the original as most as I can in just the little corner of me. I said that right now. We'll see where it goes. So I'm done with the turquoise and I really love this color. It looks really good. So now I'm going to go in with some deep yellow all the parts that have yellow but I'm not going to draw it because I don't want to get lines in there yet and it's really hard to cover up lines with yellow because it's so translucent but it's very easy to paint over so I'm just going to add yellow where yellow goes this is day two and no I have not showered it's 4 55 in the morning it's too early for that <laughs> I'm gonna go in with, I feel like this is like a mauve color, maybe even brownish a little bit, but I'm gonna go with the bright rose red. And we're gonna start adding or defining these little like leaf like details in the suit. Because you know, yellow is easy to cover up. Now, this won't cover, I mean, yellow doesn't cover anything up, so you'll be able to see this green, which I like because I mean, I want a little bit to show through. And I'll have a little bit of the yellow showing through here too as well. So these lines here are just like very organic, leaf-like. And the good thing about yellow, or the bad thing, depending on what you're doing, it doesn't even cover pencil marks. So I can see all the pencil marks I've previously made on here. So now I have to go in with a smaller brush to get all the edges and stuff. I really love how that red is interacting with that turquoise, with the yellow. Like, it's just, I love the harmony of it all. I didn't want to use white paint, but I'm going to have to because this is white and I put red there. I don't even know if I'll be able to cover it with white paint because red is so bright. And I'm going to take some creative liberties because there's a lot of like, or like a yellow ochre. And I don't like yellow ochre, so I'm thinking I'm going to do a blue. So I took off that little ponytail he had, and I'm just going to keep the wig. I'm assuming it's one of those imperial wigs or whatnot that they wore back in the day. I guess imperial is not the right word because he was a military guy. I think what he's wearing is a wig, and I'm going to emphasize that it's a wig. And if it's not, well, then he's sporting a wig. I feel like wigs are so fun. They like completely change your demeanor once you try one on. It's still day two, I just took a shower. So now I'm gonna add the gray for the hair and then for the wig. Then once I'm done with this, I'm gonna add like little swirls to make it look like it's curly. But this will be like the base layer. Once I'm done with that, I'll come back and show you. So this is day three. I'm doing the wig with a metallic marker pin and I'm adding these swirls. Then I'll come back with paint to add because I don't like that each line is the same as the next. But I'm gonna cover this up first with this. So I'm done with the swirls, curls of the wig. 
Now, no, I said I wasn't going to trace anything black, but I'm going to trace some of these lines in black on the wig. And then also trace them with like a lighter gray. And maybe even add some silver. I'm still not sure. I know I said I wasn't going to use black, but I'm reconsidering that because I just love the contrast it creates. And I love how this looks so much better now that I've added the black. Now I need to go in with some lighter gray, which is going to create an even starker contrast. Good call to incorporate those curls. Great idea, Ramon. Well, that's the only kind I have. Well, what's a wig without a couple of stray hairs? I'm done with the red for right now. I think I might add like a darker red in some parts, but this tone of red I'm done with. So I wanted to test out the brown that I'm using in the blue just to see how it's going to interact. And I must say I do like that blue. So I've added the blue, made that clasp that attaches that blue chevron thing. Gray instead of white. Added a little bit of scarlet red to the suit. So I am done and I love it. I try to match his jacket. It's the closest I can get to it. And I didn't have a hat I'm like this, but I'm done. But I really like how it turned out. I like the creative differences, the creative liberties I took with the color here, the hair. I did pencil for the feathers and the ruffles on the shirt. And now for my favorite part, which is the wing in this tape. See, I love how crisp these lines are. Oops. Uh, it's not coming at all. Oh, this is rude. Okay, I need to do it slow. Ooh, I got scared. Slow, slow. Ah, oh, there it is. I used to use a purple one, and the purple one sucked because it would come off, and now this one sticks too much. I need like a happy medium. This is annoying me. I used to take great joy in peeling this tape off. There we go. That looks awesome. I mean, I can't take this off because it'll fall, and I think it's too wet. I mean, I could clamp it, but I don't think this reaches. So I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. This was probably a hard tutorial to follow because I was all over the place. Partially, partly because I didn't know where I was going to go with it, but I'm very happy with the result. I told myself I wasn't going to trace as much, but I did on the face, but I think what I did with the black was necessary for the look I was going for. I love it so much. Let me zoom in so you can take a closer look. You know, the photograph or videos, it doesn't ever do justice. I really like this. There's the feathers. You know, the skin is two-tone. The wig. He's a cutie. Well, anyway, that's all for today's video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, activate the notifications, watch all the other content in my channel. Until the next time. Oh, I guess I should pose for the thumbnail. Until the next time. I'll see you. Bye. <laughs>